This is about when I'm lucky and why today. When I retire, thinks Donald, I'll never have to go to another meeting in my life. Donald is wrong. He will have to go to meetings, but every single one will be with a medical professional. <laughs> he will look back on meetings about deadlines, targets, and buried treasure with a tear in his eye. So please enjoy it. <laughs> right, before I went further, what is Bob and CBS? We're a charity that exists to support all the charities involved in doing what they do. I work every day with deeply passionate, enthusiastic, amazing people. We provide a range of services to the 1,561 groups and organisations in this borough that help people change their lives. It's absolutely immense, this aspect we've got on our doorstep, and we need to make more of it. And it can really help you from a leadership perspective when you are looking at inclusion, equality, diversity, which is helping people. But I really because Bob and us a diverse population with diverse issues. Right? And we need diverse solutions to actually address them. We need to build, celebrate, and champion and nurture our diverse workforce to overcome our various diverse challenges. And that's your job. That's what you need to make happen. At Bolton CBS, we've got a strong and bold mission of working together to develop a diverse, strong, effective, voluntary community sector in Bolton. And we all need to work together within our appropriate spaces to actually achieve that. But also, there's many other tools that we can use as a borough, as a place, as a workforce in the NHS to actually improve people's lives. Things that remove barriers to inequality that actually include people in the workforce. So, banning the box around for criminal convictions, things like that. All that charge stuff, Carol, you can sort that. Um, and James, and all the rest of the thing. Um, but also, um, making sure that we pay the living wage, things like that. Inclusion in communities is really massively important as a result of that because charities bring together people who care about the cultural of issues so that they can make a positive difference. As I said, you've got 1,551 community groups and organisations in Bolton and a volunteer force of 36,500 people. You've got a big asset you can use. Whatever it is that you care about, it's a charity out there to address it. You might well not have really done that, but there's certainly a way to connect into it. But a massive priority for all charities is to tackle gaps in equality, to challenge adversity, to listen to people, to give people a voice and to do things differently. So, hate, poverty, hunger, misery, poor environment, declining health, and inequality. This is what your voluntary sector can help you with. So use it. But it's massively important to understand the course of the barriers that people face and they're going to do healthcare because the more good things you are, the less your life experience is, the more experienced you are, the more likely you are to end up in the world anyway, so it's all connected. Um, and obviously, from a people perspective, we are all different. It's about diversity in our workforce and understanding some of the differences in diversity. And, and also, the value of what we do is often you know, people feel rather than how many, how much, how fast. And that's really massively important as well. As I've said, I've spent my entire working life tackling hate, poverty, and justice, or being connected to people that do. But inclusive leadership critically needs agitators, someone to wind it up, someone to challenge it, someone to say, not the same thing, <laughs> no, just that and how we that. But actually, people like you, thinkers, doers, practitioners, it's you, it's your job. And it's your job to bring the intent alive. It's not what's on paper in the strategy, although the strategy is very important, Sharon, we stick into the message, don't worry, absolutely. <laughs> um, but that's about where we're working towards and where we're going. It's the everyday practice that's ma massively important. It's your actions, it's how you bring your values to life. But when we're building equity, we're really looking at the individual, individual needs of a person and what can be done to actually give them the best start, the best outcome opportunities. So, really, qualities look lovely and good, but well, let's be building a world of equity, which is really massively important. I accept that you don't need to be the one that has all the answers, massively important. Surround yourself with good people and allow them to shine. 